changes in the fetal circulation at birth the fetal circulation undergoes great changes within few minutes after cord clamping and first breath is due to first stoppage of the placental blood flow with massive reduction in venous return to the right heart and second onset of respiration now the changes occur in the circulation first closure of the foramen ovale with the first breath alveolar expansion and increase in alveolar capillary oxygen tension cause marked decrease in pulmonary vascular resistance it causes marked accompanying decrease of right atrial after load and right atrial pressure clamping of umbilical cord reduces venous return to right atrium reducing its pressure significantly secondly the increase in pulmonary flow increases venous return into the left atrium and therefore the left atrial pressure the combined effect of the two events is to increase the left atrial pressure above the right atrial pressure and provide a physiological closure of foramen ovale which occurs soon after birth but anatomical closure may take up to 1 year the closure is reversible in early neonatal life as cyanosis may develop during crying due to shunting of blood from right atrium to left atrium second closure of the ductus arteriosus the functional closure of the ductus arteriosus usually occurs soon after the establishment of pulmonary circulation due to local increase in ductus arteriosus oxygen tension which alters the ductus response to prostaglandins and cause a marked localized vasoconstriction prostaglandin synthetase inhibitor that is indomethacin given to mother may cause premature closure of ductus arteriosus while prostaglandin may delay the closure the anatomical closure from fibrosis takes 2 to 3 months and it forms ligamentum arteriosum in adults third closure of the umbilical arteries there is immediate functional closure to prevent any fetal blood loss umbilical arteries undergo atrophy and obliteration within 3 to 4 days after birth the proximal parts of umbilical arteries remain open as superior vesical arteries the distal parts become the lateral umbilical ligaments fourth closure of the umbilical vein the closure of the umbilical vein occurs shortly after the umbilical arteries to enable transfer of about 80 to 100 ml of placental blood to the fetus after closure the remnant of umbilical vein forms the ligamentum teres fifth closure of ductus venosus the ductus venosus constricts functionally by 12 to 96 hours after birth and closes anatomically by 2 to 3 weeks to form ligamentum venosum the neonatal cardiac output is about 450 to 500 ml per minute and the heart rate is about 110 to 140 beats per minute thank you for listening thank you